Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Kingdom of Hearts. In this episode, I have decided my one of three choices. Choice number one. We explore every single area in the game. Choice number two. Go to the Coliseum and just keep grinding that until we beat Cloud and Squall. Choice number three. Go on to the game. I decided to do a combination of three and two. So what we're gonna be doing is or two and one, sorry. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading through every single world again. I know you guys are sick of seeing every single world, but it's going to be edited. It's going to be edited. I'm going to explain to you how it's going to work. So let me explain. I'm going to go to Alice in Wonderland world. We are going to normal drive there. I'm going to um, kill a shitload of the stuff on the way. Is Wait, let's just see if there's a mission. Do we have a mission? A uh, mission? I think there's a way to see. Here we go. So set off from Wonderland while using a haste G or haste 2G. Use accelerate five more times. So we don't have a quest to do, so that's fine. We're not gonna, we're gonna be able to warp drive. I'm gonna see if there's a quest. If there's no quest, I'm just gonna warp drive. If there's a quest, we're gonna normal drive. We're gonna get there. I'm gonna run through the whole area. I'm either gonna show you bits and pieces, or I'm gonna skip the area completely, and then you're gonna see this screen again where we head to the next area. And we're gonna go through the whole game like that and explore everything. And it's all gonna be edited beautifully for you. So although it's gonna take me like two hours, you're gonna get one 40-ish minute video, maybe a little bit less if I can make it happen. And then after that, if I see the time-wise, for instance, was a waste and there was nothing in any of these worlds, I'm gonna go to the Coliseum and we're gonna do another 10 levels. So that is the plan right now. Without further ado, let's go. We are going to Wonderland. Warp drive, because we can. And then uh, maybe I'll see you through Wonderland while we find new items and new quest lines and new story and things or we'll be seeing you on the screen on the world menu where we head to Tarzan land and with that we have officially completed Wonderland I don't think there was any new things there just a lot of combat one or two levels which was kind of nice but uh, mainly a lot of combat not mainly much to show so for you guys you might have seen a little bit of sped up footage there maybe a few combats maybe something along those lines but there was nothing new no new items no chests no finding secret areas no expendables no consumables nothing it was just grinding a little bit of monsters getting a few items and stuff so without further ado, let's go to tarzan world so we're going to check the gummy ship mission first which i think we do this no this okay obtain a score of 200 or higher okay so we're gonna go normal drive to the tarzan jungle and we're gonna try and get a score of 200 or higher which should be really easy with our new amazing uh ship we got golem nice i don't know what that means we got it very nice oh those are rockets those are not my friends i thought they were my friends but i was very very quickly let, uh, understood that that is not the case Taking care of all these guys. There we go. Taking a little bit of damage. That's okay. And all we want to do is get a score of 200 or higher here. So 200 or higher, brother. Get that score of 200 or higher would be good. Shouldn't be too hard, I think, because uh, obviously we have a score of 100 already. Uh, but are we halfway? That could be the thing. We could be halfway right now, and that means we might need to really pick it up a little bit. Okay, try and take out that thing in the middle if it's possible, because it kind of looks like it. We could. No, it's not. Okay, let's just debate. That's okay. Ooh, this one's a little bit of a trickier one. A lot of a uh, very difficult flying when you do all these things. And these rings are like, kind of in my way a little bit. That's okay. okay. Ooh, that was a big boy, but we took him out. Took him all out. That's good. Taking him all out. That's pretty good. Oh, a little bit up we go. A little bit around the corner. There we go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh, this one kind of sucks. This one's a little bit of a little, more difficult uh, little path that you got to take. But we 200. Boom. On the dot, 200, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that, we literally almost didn't make it. Exactly 200, and we got Will G, baby. So, I'm gonna go to... Okay, we need to think, what is the best route to take? To go to... Let's just go to the tent, I guess. And we can do like a roundabout, right? Uh, let's think. Yeah, yeah, we can do like a roundabout. So, we talk to Jane. What's up, Jane? Hello, peace makers. Also. And once again, we're gonna just go through the whole of this area. See if we can find any new stuff, anything I might have missed along those lines if not um you know i'll see you guys after the world selection screen once again and with that we are done with the deep jungle so 100 percent completion of wonderland i'm 100 sure about this 100 completion of deep down jungle i'm 100 sure about this next up aladdin world now aladdin world we can only warp drive to we can't normal drive to for some reason so we're going to be warp driving to it uh now we know there's a scorpion we need to beat here and i guess you can go through the whole of the freaking other area but i hate the other area because it takes very very long um, but yeah, you know, 
I think a Latin world we might actually show a little bit more of because a this is scorpion boss fight so we're gonna at least be fighting that once and probably dying but you know that is something we have to do so while we have to do it obviously we're gonna have to do it you know what I mean um, but yeah you know Tarzan well done uh, Wonderland done that we know two areas completely completed never ever need to go back there ever again unless the game can say so but unless the game says so I'm absolutely never going back to those areas again I'm done with them um, there, I did not find any mini bosses in those areas I did not find any unsolvable puzzles I did not find any areas I could not access any chests any Trinity symbols any anything I mean there's nothing about Trinity symbols in the game but you guys get the picture, you know what I'm saying? I know you understand what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that Wonderland and Deep Jungle are done, baby. So if I can just figure out how to beat this mother effing scorpion, I can also then figure out how to be done with Agrabah. Because I feel like there's nothing in the deep cavern. Every time we go there, I feel like it's just a very long process uh, that leads to nothing. So the reason I'm going through like this and not actually going through any doors, I just want to actually um, aggro every type of enemy in a area so I can kill all the enemies in an area, which I'm hoping then will lead to me maybe getting some atom drops from those enemies that, you know, might be uh, semi-unique or potentially even um, finding some secret stuff, you know, maybe like if you beat all the enemies in the area, then uh, a new type of enemy type spawns. You never know. No, god damn it! I knew that was gonna happen too. That was the best part. Okay, well, we don't need to go back here again. I don't know if this pot respawns as enemy. No, my goodness. There we go. I don't know. Sword just refuses to jump right there. It's really weird. You guys hear that? See, Sora keeps jumping down. Please stop jumping down, Sora. It's very frustrating for me as a gamer. Okay. So I kind of feel like we've explored everything in this area, right? This area does feel like it's completed. There's nothing else to do here. So let's head on to the next one. We don't need to go to Aladdin's world at all. We know that. We can basically get everywhere just by double jumping and gliding. So we don't need to, like, puzzle it up in here. We can just straight up go make progress in the game normally. We can just play the game. Okay, this is the most ultimate shadow and there was absolutely nothing I could have done. There we go. So I still don't know how we're gonna approach the scorpion, but you know, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to figure it out. Just one of those things. Wow, I'm a little bit upset that that landed. But once again, if I get nothing done in this episode, from this area, no new stuff, no new items. We lose the scorpion. You won't be seeing this. So, if you're seeing, if you are hearing me speak, basically ever in a world, then you know at least we found something extra in that world. Well, I'm just gonna do a whole uh, explanation of how I finished the world, and there was nothing in it. Okay, we fast up breaking pots. Let's just see if there's maybe a way you can tell which pot is the scorpion. Maybe it looks a little bit different. Maybe it. Uh, Maybe what you have to do is you actually have to do destroy all the other pots in the area first before you fight the scorpion pot. Uh, there's all these little like it could be it could be literally anything because hey I don't know which pot's the scorpion pot and when I do open the scorpion pot it will automatically um, It will automatically destroy all the other pots. Okay. 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 We got rid of like three already. Okay. We got like this six more. Could be any of these six. Could be any of these five. Try and look. Like, do any of these pots? look even remotely than the other parts. Doesn't look like it to me. We have 33.3% chance of hitting the Scorpion. Okay, the pots can be moved. This pot cannot be moved. That's the Scorpion pot. Holding it right now. 
that is the scorpion part. I can tell because it was the only part I could not move. Okay, we destroyed all the parts. And the scorpion has not yet been activated. Maybe now I can kill the scorpion? Okay, no, I can't. Okay, um, summon. Um, I guess, I don't know, maybe summon genie? I don't know. Let's try genie out, I guess. We did kill all the pots this time. And we didn't, um, and then we aggroed the scorpion. So maybe now we can activate the scorpion. I don't know what Genie does, but Genie's Aladdin World. Aladdin World, you know, maybe you need Genie to kill a pot. Showtime. Okay, so he's doing stuff, but he's not hurting the... So he does do stuff. I can actually make him do stuff. Okay. Uh, what about a Gravira? So it's not. Gra it's definitely not Gravira. Where's my teeth? Okay. So it's not Gravira. What about Thundaga? Not Thundaga. Definitely not. Oh, 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 I don't know what I did. Come on. I don't know what happened, but it worked. So we did something. Come on. Come on. Come on. I have no idea what's happening right now. Something we did work. Got it. Get the shit out of him. Get the shit out of Scorpion. Uh, items. Mega. Ether. I think you have to counter him and then you can beat him up. Oh, we did! We did! We did it! We beat this guy! I'm so happy! Oh, you guys don't even understand. Oh, the best day of my life. I beat the scorpion. I think you have to count him at the exact right time and it knocks him back and then you can beat him up. Oh, we did do something new in this episode at least so it doesn't feel like this episode will completely complete waste. Okay. Now the question is, do we want to go to the other area? I don't really want to go to the other area. Oh, honestly, but it's the only, like, we, like, technically we should because there might be new stuff there, but there might not be. Oh, I can't believe I beat the scorpion. I'm actually gonna save after being that scorpion. That's how, that's how happy I'm about that one. Save time, baby. Saving. Beautiful. And we're back in the normal world. After exploring the entirety of the Agrabah Wonder Cave of Wonders, where you get where Genie's lamp is, I'm assuming. We got nothing, so that means 100% completion, 100% completion, 100% completion as far as I'm concerned. So next up is Monster and Monstro. Do we have any quests for you, Monstro? Maybe Monstro doesn't get quests. It might be that Monstro just does not have quests available. So, oh no, I don't want a normal drive then. I want to, I want to, uh, I want to uh, warp drive. There's no reason to normal drive to Monstro if Monstro has no quest for us. We're going to be warp driving to Monstro. And uh, we're going to be exploring the whole monster, so it's going to take a long time because monster is really large. But once again, I'll only show if we find anything new exciting. And um, also only if uh, I maybe find that mini-boss again and be potentially beat the mini-boss this time. So that's all we're going to be doing for now. I'm going to keep going on this strat that we're doing right now where we only, uh, we only show the things we do. Which is working out pretty well for us so far. So without further, let's get into monster. Okay, so first half of Monstro done. Absolutely nothing found, nothing secret, nothing extra. No, I, we got a little bit of I, like consumable items, obviously, and a little bit of experience, but we didn't find any like chests or secrets or uh, anything I missed along the way. So basically, it was just a bunch of things we already had. A little bit of combat, but now we're gonna go to where that other boss was. Kind of like how we had the Scorpion mini boss. There's another mini boss here that I have not beat. 100% I have not beat. 
Uh, he's only sword once and it never spawned again and it was like invulnerable to all damage. Just like the scorpion is invulnerable to all damage. So we all go for the same strat that we used on the scorpion. Which is the counter everything. Or try and counter strat I guess. See how that works. But uh, so far Monstro been a little bit of a, a let down. Once again I'm not even sure if you'll see this. If we don't fight the secret boss of course. I will not be showing this off because there's no point in it. Too, but, you know. Maybe we do beat the secret boss. And then you'll all see this. So... Keep commentating, keep exploring, making some decent progress. We got like we're about, I would say about 60, 60 percent through the entire of the map before we head back to Halabastion. Uh, so actually, before we head back to Coliseum, we're gonna do the Coliseum next episode. This episode is gonna be 100 dedicated to this, uh, exploring every world again, getting a shit ton of levels and experience and stuff. We might even get a couple of more consumables that might maybe even one day lead us to being able to. Uh, make new items by the by the uh, Moogles. I would love to make new items by the Moogles game. That's okay. Controls in this game are not not the great, greatest. That's all I'll say. And if you ever fall off a ledge or something, you get screwed. It's crazy. You gotta be very like perfect. Okay, will the mini boss be here? Yes or no? It is here, okay. So as we saw, this mini boss, uh, okay, well first of all, wait for it, and then stop lock. Stop lock. Okay, uh, magic and gravira. Uh, gravity doesn't seem to be working really. I don't think he's actually real, I think he's just supposed to kind of do as much damage as you can. For a uh, time period and get as much things as you can out of him. Because I don't think he's actually beatable. He doesn't seem to be taking damage, and he seems to drop items every time I hit him, so... Yeah, I think he might just be like a kind of a item form, maybe? Not actually beatable, potentially, but uh, I don't know. Okay, I think that's all in Monstro, so nothing special here, so I guess we just leave. Find the first uh, save point out, and then just leave, so... Uh, it should be right here, so I'll do it on camera, it's okay, and then we're gonna be heading to the next area, which is Atlantis. Um, Atlantis is kind of a big area, so I'm a little bit like not excited to be doing. Oh god, I didn't want to say there. What the fuck? I do not want to save a slot 99 game. Okay, so let's head on over to Atlantis then. Okay, do we have any quests in Atlantis? Click 10 or more armor blocks. I kind of feel like what you want to do is you want to go to Agrabah and then from Agrabah go to Atlantis because you have more um, chances to get 10 armor blocks. We can try. Let's see if we can get some armor blocks. Just click everything and we should be fine. What is this fucking Bahamut? What are these ships? These ships look awesome. Eroga, Protect. I don't know what armor blocks are, so I'm not sure, entirely sure what I'm supposed to be collecting, but I'll just collect everything, I guess. I feel like I'm actually trying to get my butt handed to me. Got Mindy's, got the Spouse. Got the spouse powers, tornadoes. I don't know if we got 10 armor blocks. I don't think we did, so. I don't know what 10 armor blocks are. But we got a new high squad list, so that's kind of cool. Okay, uh, Trank and Grotto. I'm pretty sure this is the start. Bam, bam, bam. And once again, as per usual, I'll be going through the entirety of Atlantis. And only if I find something new or something we have not seen, I'll be showing you guys. If not, we'll be at the world selection screen once again. Find a secret. I don't know if we find a secret. I'm not sure if we find a secret or if we just find like a shortcut. Ah, so there's a little shortcut if you destroy that explosive thing. Okay, so we should look for explosive things because they seem to lead to at least some kind of like shortcut T thing. So if we ever see those, we need to know. Okay, so you guys, uh, I'm a bizarre. Not Pazoga, not Fayoga. <laughs> I think I did Fayoga last time. I think I wasn't Fayoga. Okay, so those, if you see those like explosive things, we should uh, make them explode. Whatever it means necessary, we should make them explode. 
Let's go up. Okay, so we're going on one of these explosion things here by the Ursula. Let's see if we can explode it. I'm not sure if it's a use a specific magic on it or if it's a just do see ya fire 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 oh that's how we got that right there yeah. awesome it's cool okay so i feel like now that I've, uh, I've i feel like i've explored everything in this area uh in this little little moment area so i think we can just leave can't go through here no we can't okay, cool we can't target this thing again okay so i think we're pretty much done so what we want to do now is we want to just leave. So only, only uh, Never Neverland to go and spooky Halloween Town to go, and then we're done. Then we're done with re-exploring everywhere in the game. Basically, I'm pretty one. I'm pretty sure one home sending all the areas in the game that we can up this one. If there's more stuff we can only get laid on, then that's how it is. But for now, I feel like we've done everything. I'm getting a little bit tired, so it is a little bit harder to record now and do more of these things, but, you know, it's part of the system. So let's do a quick save. I always save off every area, kind of like a little bit of a ritual now, so I know. And then we want to go here, and then we can go gummy ship, and then board gummy ship, yes. Now we can see if there's any uh, rewards to go to Never Neverland, so gummy ship missions. Set off from Atlantica with only Thunder G as a weapon to destroy 150 more ships. That's not going to happen, so instead we'll warp drive to it. So we're going to go to Never Neverland, we're going to do the uh, Captain Hook uh, area, and then we're going to go to the uh, tower and uh, go through the tower. Uh, but I'll only show you if you guys if we see anything new. Okay, so nothing there. Um. Oh, we need Peter Pan for this. Oh my word. Always forget we need Peter Pan for this part. So we got nothing in the, the ship. Absolutely nothing. So yeah, it was a lot of combat, but it wasn't even like a lot of like experience. So it was kind of just a waste of time. The ship kind of feels like completely useless now. And this area also I'm pretty sure is useless, but we can check it out anyway. Oh wait, we're getting a cutscene. Do we always get, do we get this cutscene every time or is this a new cutscene? I can't remember. I hope it's... Uh, it is a new cutscene. It is a new cutscene because that is a scary and what the fuck. I'm fighting the Grim Reaper. I'm dead. Yeah, we're gonna die. I'm calling it. We're dead. Okay, so for some reason, I don't know what I did, but now all of a sudden I'm fighting the Grim Reaper. Which is not very fun. Also, Grim Reaper is immune to damage, of course. Oh, it is. Oh, it's cold. Maybe we can hit his call. There we go. So he's got a call. We can only hit his call. So it kind of evade, and when his call comes out, go and fight him. This is cool. Kind of get to it and be there. It's really hard to reach this call. So, uh, why am I fighting the Grim Reaper, by the way, game? Can uh, anyone explain to me why the Grim Reaper is here? I'm very confused. I don't know what want to fight the Grim Reaper. I feel like Peter Pan is Doom on him right now. Uh, what about. What about. What about Stopper? He's doing to stop. I mean, that makes sense. Okay, he's immune to all damage. I what? Oh, um. By the way, Peter Pan is just gone. Peter Pan is just literally gone by. By the way, guys. Okay, for some reason there's it. Oh no, Peter Pan is still there, but he's not here. He's like he's dead. Is Peter Pan dead? Did you kill Peter Pan? Can I target Peter Pan? I can target something. Uh oh, the clock. There's something going on in the clock. Look. I don't know what, I don't understand anything that's going on. I think I did something. Can I beat up the clock maybe? Oh, uh, Donald's gonna die too, he's got Doom on him too. Uh, I think Donald died. I have no idea what's happening right, Donald's dead too. Yeah, okay, so Peter Pan and Donald are both fucking dead. And this guy's immune to all damage, so I can't really fight him. Oh, I, beat him, I hit him there a little bit. Whoa. Whoa. So it looks like when he's got the electric one, he's immune to damage, but when he has, when it goes away, he's not. Uh, what is this again? Another complicated... 
Okay, I've got doom on me now. 12 seconds and I'll die. Maybe I need to ignore him and go for the clock and stop the clock. Stop the clock. I don't know. I don't understand anything that's going on right now. I'm gonna go. I'm about to go get over. I'm not entirely sure why. But we find something new. We find something new, guys. That's exciting. New stuff is always fun. Even if it's the Grim Reaper that is just destroying my butt. Yeah. Okay. So we found a super boss. By the way. By the way, game. Uh, we found a super boss, and it isn't. It's it's, uh, it's impossible. It's not beatable. It's a in unbeatable super boss. So yeah, gummy ship. Yes. And uh, bye. Not going there ever again. Okay, got me some machines. Uh, collect 20 more power blocks. That's how, that's actually sounds pretty easy. Normal drive. I don't know if I'm getting power blocks or whatever the fuck I'm supposed to be getting, but I'm doing it, baby. Let's go. So, um, yeah, we found like the Grim Reaper, by the way. Grim Reaper is impossible, by the way. Also, FYI, more invulnerable to all damage enemies and King of Hearts. Their number one favorite strategy for boss designing, as we've come to understand, unfortunately, the very hard way, but it is what it is. I don't understand exactly what's happening right now, but all I can tell is I'm shooting a billion bullets and I'm actually dying, so... And I'm fighting 8 bajillion enemies at the same time, by the way, so... Once again, I'm not entirely sure what's happening, but I feel like I'm not winning this fight. I need to actually start like, paying attention to where I'm going, because apparently I'm taking a lot of damage. Uh, I get some HP. I hope I've got some HP somewhere else. I got a lot of HP that we're we fine now. Made a bunch of stars there, but I didn't get it. I don't know if I did the quest. I don't think we did because we didn't get anything, but you know, it was fun. We got a new high score though, 456. Not bad. Get a team gate. So once again, I'll be running through uh, this area and seeing if there's any new stuff. If there's no stuff, as always, I'll be just leaving. And uh, then we're going to be going back to Traverse Town and ending the episode there. So, Halloween Town was also a bust. Nothing new there to get, nothing new there to see. We fought that boss again, that mini boss that we fought in the area where we fought the main boss, uh, Boogie Woogie. Uh, it was really weak, it died very quick, it wasn't too much of a problem. But, pretty much just a dead end episode. Nothing serious happened, nothing good happened. It was just a, just a little bit of nothing, you know what I'm saying? But, we hopefully got a bunch of new items, maybe? Because we freaking killed a shit ton of enemies. We also leveled up like five times or something so i'm hoping that maybe just maybe we might be able to make a new synthesis item at least game okay, have mercy on myself we can make a rune amulet yes synthesize 18 is now available exactly as i anticipated as soon as we unlocked a new wait wasn't always 18 i think it was always 18 actually but maybe we speak to them now we should look everywhere you got for items keep out we might be able to get more stuff there are also synthesis items you can use to create other synthesis items keep out Still 18, okay, so still on 18. Okay, XP earrings need Serenity Power and Fury Stone. I think I've seen Fury Stones before. I don't understand why I don't have those. Um, also, we're an amulet used a bunch of those. Okay, so Moogle Bangle needs Frost Stone and Lightning Stone. I, mean, I don't know where to get those. Um, Master Earring needs Fury Stone as well. Lightning Stone. Uh, we can, oh, we can make Titan Chain. Yes, yes, we made Titan Chain. Awesome, and we got a Mythal Stone, but we don't have Mystery Glue. So we need mystery new. But yeah, so we actually made a second item, not two new items. Awesome, 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 awesome. Be sure everybody looking for items, Kupo. There are also awesome items you can make to use to make other items, Kupo. New stuff? No, it's still 18. So what do we need? Okay, we should actually decide, figure it out. So we need one, one fuse stone, one serenity power. Uh, one fuse stone, one serenity power, one frost stone, one lightning stone. Two Fury Stones, one Serenity Power, one Frost, one Lightning. Two Lightning, one Frost, one Serenity, two Furies. And then Mystery Dew. Actually, we only need like, uh, what's it? Two, two, 
one, one, one. So like seven. We need seven items. We can make like all the items in the gummy uh, in the Mugo accessory shop. But for now, this is gonna be this episode of King of Hearts 100. Let's play, I guess, <laughs> where we went and re-explored every single area. I hope the edit, the way I edited it out, was ex like well enough explain that you kind of knew what was going on, where we were going, what we were doing. Um, we did one or two extra challenges with the gummy ships, so that's also kind of like a bargain. And uh, yeah, I got a little bit of level ups, got some new like stuff, some good things, and uh, it means we should be quite stronger, which means we should be able to beat Cloud and Squall, because we would have beat Cloud and Squall if I didn't get one shot from 70% HP. Now I know I can get one shot from 70% 70 HP, so I'll play it a lot different, a lot more safe. For now, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Kingdom Hearts, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help me a lot. Do it for this is a 2 hour and 40 minute video that I'm editing down, so I don't know how long it came out for you guys, but it took me two hours, about 2 hours and 40 minutes to record, roughly, almost. Um, so let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed that um, and if you guys want to help me directly to make me do YouTube and Twitch streaming full time please consider looking at two links in the description below as those directly help me make that dream become a reality for now though thank you very much for watching I'll see you guys next time with more Kingdom Hearts